Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. What I thought we'd do is we've got two FPOS machines here and I thought we'd have a race and just turn them on. So we're just going to hold the button on both of them. One's already on. And now this one's on. This one is from our bank, um, St. George Bank. It's used with Commonwealth Bank, a lot of banks. You need to uh, sign up to be a merchant and they will charge you fees and charges. On an average we pay about uh, I don't know, five, ten dollars a week, and then we pay about 1.5 percent of the transaction uh, for this machine. If you don't use the machine over a period of a month, they'll actually charge you a non-usage fee and the terminal rental as well. So that terminal non-usage fee can be like 200 dollars. Some, I think it was 200 dollars last time I got charged it on a machine that was sitting around. Uh, this machine here is one that you buy from Officeworks, and it goes through uh, provider, which uh, is not really a bank, but they work as a bank so to speak so every time you do a deposit they go to your account and then the deposits are transferred over to your bank account they go through on a daily basis it doesn't take long but there was a big difference in the actual machines when i looked at them as far as online with my standard bank terminal and this thing's still trying to boot up with my standard bank terminal what i found out is that i get a a settlement that says a, an amount but i cannot see individual transactions as we're on this one I can see individual transactions you can see it if you wanted to do a summary on this machine if you have this machine but one of the problems I have as um, being a manager is that I don't get to see the machine I only get to see what is in the deposit and then I have to backwards trace to find out how much those deposits are made up of to know whether or not the job was processed this way and that all the payments were successful so it's a little bit harder on this one when I looked at this one online I was able to see each and every transaction time and date stamped so if I was to look over, let's say, last Friday, I could say all of these transactions were FPOS and they all went through and there was no problems. As with this one, I'll only get a statement and then I have to do a breakdown on it. So for any uh, bosses, managers and things along, people who manage multiple FPOS machines, it's worth noting that uh, even though this is not provided by a bank and this one is, the software and the online uh, abilities were more relevant for me on this machine than they were on this machine and that's a bit of a shame because we have all these machines so I was interested I was interested and in, uh, kind of uh, shocked at that and that was something new so I just wanted to make that uh, point okay now these machines both of them have the pay wave which is this symbol at the top here both of them have this this one has it at the top up here on the receipt printer this one has it on the screen both are touch screen this one here has a larger screen like an android device this one has a smaller smaller screen so there's a bit of a difference there both are important machines where if dropped they will break both use a sim card both use gsm to transfer data to transfer the um uh not terminal to process to process the payment uh, to their gateways so it goes over data and this and that so you do need GSM signal to run one of these machines both have the swipe card on the side the old-fashioned swipe card and both have the insert card on the front here general size wise on both of these machines if you can see that one is slightly bigger than the other one is slightly heavier than the other now when we've lost one of these machines in the past it's cost us I think 500 um, to replace it via the bank these machines you buy off office works for I think 2250 so they're heads up and they're in front there this machine has a terminal lock this machine does not they both take I think 58 mil FPOS rolls and these are just thermal FPOS rolls these ones I believe are a little bit smaller uh, yeah, sorry smaller in diameter not in width I believe that they're both the same in width so you probably yeah you can you could probably use your same same uh, rolls if you wanted when I open this one up too um, you'll see that the actual rolls have all got Zella written on them that's the brand that's the name of the people who provide the gateway to use this machine so you'll need to sign up with Zella um, hook up your bank account and then you can start processing payments so to have an FBOS machine as a locksmith you definitely need one because everybody now is cashless and cardless and one of the reasons you need it is because you cannot use bodgy little swipe or uh, some of the square ones sometimes people they're not too comfortable when you come up with a device like this which is hooked up to your mobile phone and you say please swipe your card here and you process a payment people always wonder is that taking the data is that you know recording the data somewhere when you walk up with a machine like this which they see and they're used to seeing it's got the bank logo you're installing confidence in the customer that you're processing a payment with their card on a secure type of platform or the standard of platform so there's less chance of them worrying about 
counterfeit, card skimming, uh, card duplication, things like that. With a machine like this, it's at the stage now, when you look at it, it's acceptable. And it's probably going to become even more acceptable the more people embrace a machine like this. It is built on an Android platform, but it is rock solid as far as being able to process payments. It's just that a lot of clientele at the moment might not have seen it because it's a bit of a new product. And I think when it comes out and it's as and it's as uh, well known as this shape and type of machine you know the white one or the black one people will get to you know uh, people get to uh, how do you say get more confidence and trust it a little bit more for now i still like the black one because it's it's out there i don't really like these little square tapping things I, I don't think they're a good idea uh, but you can use it you know you can run your business on it it's completely up to you but i like to give the when it comes to payment i like the customers to feel secure in the way that they're paying me to know that the car's not being skimmed or data's being collected and it's going through a proper terminal uh to a proper merchant service so that you know it's it's confidence uh, because you know in the middle of the night you got to use one of these to get payment and you don't want them calling up the next day saying can i have a receipt because i'm worried that you know your terminal looked a bit dodgy this one here has a camera on the front it has a, a button on the top there for uh, looks like I don't know volume so that's interesting on the back here it also has a camera as well it's built on an Android platform it comes with a cradle so you can just put it in the cradle and it will sit there as far as a car kit you can use that as a as a car kit but um, I would have liked to have seen a slightly bigger cradle with more more uh, claws around it especially if it's going in a car a lot of these merchant terminals haven't really cat catered for mobile locksmiths like us and the cradles are lacking or poor or very expensive if aftermarket created so this one here as well has the same thing in here you can see the terminals there is a cradle that you just put it on it plugs into the power which it came with but once again not good for mobile uh, mobile service people both machines have an Android US uh, micro USB on the side this one here has this other little plug there as well so I'm not sure what that is or if you can get a 12 volt plug pack for that and that would be quite good for people charging on the road I always charge mine on the road via the USB the micro USB on the side it works but it takes a very long time a lot of the time I'm ending up if this machine is out of power I'm ending up using a battery pack one of those USB battery packs on this on the back of it just plugging it in the side so i can process a transaction so that i don't like the battery power on this i find quite low and the truth is that i can get probably about a week out of um, the machine but i have to turn on and off every time it's about two to three minutes to turn on and to turn it off this is how you turn it off you gotta hold the button and it sounds like you're playing a video game or you're trying to cancel a transaction and it's still booting down the off one on this one here you just hold the button down like that and then you just go power off same as an android so you really will have to look after the screen because it is controlled by the screen quite a lot if you drop a machine like this it's very similar to a mobile phone you're going to crack the screen and i've seen them being dropped uh, you drop this one here the antenna for the mobile signal goes or the screen breaks you know sometimes it still works sometimes it doesn't if you get any moisture and stuff the buttons and the keys play up as where this one doesn't really have buttons it's controlled by a flat touch screen like a mobile phone so you could probably wipe it down once again it's very susceptible to water if you're getting water in it's gonna it's gonna play up now another factor that might help you um, you know gauge this type of product and know what you want to do and which one you want to buy is the battery power lithium-ion batteries so they last quite a while uh, they do have a bit of bang for buck these batteries but when they play up they play up and they get less and less we've had a fair few of these where the batteries just die on it i did buy aftermarket replacement batteries because being able to get a, a new battery off the terminal providers or your bank or the merchant providers was so much trouble it was easier just to buy a 50 dollars battery off ebay and swap it out myself so keep that in mind because you know if your battery's like not holding charge and you go to process transactions and you're turning it on and off every time conserving the battery as much as you can and you've still got those problems it's really a battle with you know fpos machine and we have had that battle uh we do turn it on and off and we do try and save the battery but we have had it with the battery after a year or so flakes out so we just swap the batteries out um, the bank won't give you a new battery they'll have to come and swap the whole machine out it's a big song and dance we can't tell you when you were going to be there just just you know wait around all day and we'll be there sometime lately i've swapped out a few machines with this vodafone people this merchant uh st george merchant and they've been quite quick sometimes responding in one to two hours so i give them kudos for that but have a look at the battery size here we got two we got one so twice the amount of battery size there removable batteries too if need be uh, inside here is a sim card down there and inside here is a sim card down there you do provide your own sim card on this as where this one you don't with some 
providers you can get mobile plans starting from ten dollars which give you all the data two gig of data this uses very very little data i cannot say about this because i don't pay for the data i don't pay for the sim card but they would be likewise so you will need to provide your ten dollar sim on this one so ten dollar sim let's look at transactions and cost of transactions i'm paying a percentage per transaction uh, which is calculated at the end of the month this one is taken out automatically so i'm not getting hit with a bill at the end of the month for hundred dollars for each terminal with this one here it comes out as you've earned it so i like that function because it, it's one less bill at the end of the month you can kind of kind of see um the so yeah the price wise looking at about uh, 700 okay we looked at this last night and it was 770 dollars was made and went through this machine